What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about Milk Spotted Silver. My opinions on it, whether or not I think it matters, and why for a while I went out of my way purposely to get my hands on Milk Spotted Silver. But really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you wanna help support the channel by getting some DYDSS merchandise, of course we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. And of course the brand new Kraken Stackin' t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance, it's more than appreciated. But today I wanted to talk about silver with milk spots, the dreaded milk spots that everyone seems to hate. They avoid the Canadian maple leaf pre-2018, I guess, to essentially avoid the milk spots. People do not like milk spotted silver, but I'm not like most people. For a while, I was going out of my way to get my hands on as much milk spotted silver as possible. And every single maple leaf you see sitting here on screen is considered cull, tarnished, milk spotted, discolored, whatever you want to refer to it as. And as you can probably tell, many of them do in fact have milk spots, some worse than others. I'll show you a couple ones that aren't really all that bad at all. This one, not too heavily milk spotted, but the one in my hand over here looks like a huge fingerprint, the upper left. And on the other side, same thing. We have some ones over here. The entire left side of the coin. This one's kind of all over the place. People do not like the way this looks. People hate milk spots. But like I said, I'm not like most people. Reason I say that is because I found in my little over two and a half years of stacking, I know it's not a very long time, but I've learned a lot. One thing that I learned is that silver is silver. Milk spotted silver is still silver. Tarnished silver is still silver. Scratched up silver is still silver. Silver is silver at the end of the day. The milk spots do not eat through the face of the coin. It does not cause the troy ounce to become less than a troy ounce. That does not matter. It's 100% cosmetic. And for a while, I was going out of my way to stack the cull one ounce silver maple leaves while I was stacking predominantly the coin of my country, which is the American Silver Eagle. Now, I would stack uncirculated silver eagles for the most part. Occasionally, I'd pick up a cull every now and then if I saw that there was a sale on culls. But for the most part, when it came to silver eagles, I would go with the uncirculated ones. But when it came to the maple leaf, keep in mind, I started stacking at the very end of 2018 and really got myself involved in coins at the beginning of 2018. I started out with rounds. I was solely stacking silver eagles and silver maples. And I figured, since maple leaves were known to milk spot, I figured why not just go ahead and order myself milk spotted maple leaves for a lower premium rather than picking up an uncirculated maple leaf that may or may not currently or one day in the future have milk spots on it. Why pay the higher premium for something that might end up looking like this? or like any of these coins sitting here in front of me. This one over here, the whole bottom left. I figured why pay the higher premium? So that's what I did. Alongside my Silver Eagles, I was stacking for the most part, milk spotted or cull maple leaves. Now I wanted to talk about this because it is purely cosmetic a lot of people don't like it for that reason right there. They don't like aesthetically how it looks. Let's be honest. It's not very attractive, but truth be told, 
If you get your hands on a piece of silver that has milk spots, odds are it's real. Odds are it's authentic. In a weird way, the milk spots prove that it is in fact silver. Unless, of course, you fake milk spots on fake silver. I don't know how that would work, but it's purely cosmetic. But there is one reason that milk spots do in fact matter. Like I said, silver, silver, it doesn't matter to me, but there is an example of milk spotted silver that does in fact matter. And that would be the collectible pieces of silver, the commemoratives, the anniversary coins, the milestone coins, the special coins. And if they're coming from the Canadian mint, the Royal Canadian mint, if it's pre 2018, Odds are it either has milk spots or it will one day in the future. So if you got your hands on some coins pre-2018 and they're part of a collection, part of a series, part of a set, that's not something that you would really enjoy looking the way that some of these coins sitting in here in front of me do. Now, in 2018, they changed up their minting process, their minting procedure, and evidently there will be no more milk spots. I guess we're going to have to wait it out and see if they develop over time, but so far so good. Now I do have a 30th anniversary silver maple leaf over here, uncirculated, and I keep it in this little capsule. Now the 30th anniversary is 2018, the year that they improved or enhanced their minting process. No milk spots. Couple scratches on the actual capsule, but not on the face of the coin. But like I said, pre-2018, odds are they had milk spots. So other than the 30th anniversary maple, I also have a 25th anniversary maple from 2013. 2013 is pre-2018, so guess what this somewhat special coin has? It has milk spots. Now I did not pay a premium for this. This was actually given to me randomly because I ordered random cull silver, silver maples. So I got this with the random maple leaves that I had been ordering. It just so happened to be a 25th anniversary maple, which I thought was pretty cool. I did not go out of my way to get my hands on this. This was given to me randomly when I ordered random year cull maples, and 2013 is a random year cull maple, so I ended up getting a 25th anniversary Canadian silver maple leaf, which I think is pretty cool. Even with, with the milk spots, I think it's a beautiful looking coin. But as you can see, heavily milk spotted and aesthetically it's not all that nice like I said silver silver so to me it doesn't matter but to a collector somebody that maybe paid a high premium or a higher premium for something special such as the 25th anniversary maple leaf and it arrives milk spotted or it begins to milk spot over time no bueno so that's an example of how milk spots could, in fact, matter, but they do not matter to me because I'm not a collector. I don't start and complete sets and series or anything like that. I go for the silver that I can get my hands on for the lowest possible premium, and maple leaves in general carry a lower premium, and it gets even lower if you order cull maples. And there have been times where I completely wiped the shelves clean. I ordered as many as different precious metal dealing websites had left in stock. Wiped them out completely. Because I was trying to get my hands on as much pure silver, low premium, as I could get my hands on. And the milk spots lowered the premiums for me, so I figured why not stack it? I'm stacking for weight at the end of the day. I'm not stacking for the way that the coins look. It doesn't matter to me how they look. 
If I was going for looks, if I cared about the appearance, I probably wouldn't be stacking the same coin over and over and over and over again. These are all exactly the same, aside from the year. We have a 2015, a 2011. I would order the random year cull maple leaves. So that was one of my strategies starting out. And I believe it worked in my favor. Now one could argue, well, if you pick up silver with a lower premium, when you go to sell it, you're not going to get a high premium. The way I see it is, I personally don't care because I have no intentions of selling. That's not why I'm stacking silver. I'm stacking it for the long term. It's wealth preservation for years or decades down the road. And plus, if and when I ever chose to sell, which I have no desire to, even if I sold below spot today, that would still be probably $10 more than the amount of dollars that I put into these in the first place. Because I got a majority of these maple leaves, I got a majority of my silver in general. When spot price was in between 13 and 15 bucks. Now, of course, I could get a larger dollar amount back because the value of silver has gone up since I got my hands on all of these maple leaves right here. But keep in mind, it might be counterproductive to trade these back for cash. Because sure, the value of silver went up, but the value of the dollar went down. So it's almost as if nothing happened at all. If I were to trade or convert all of these into cash, into currency, into fiat, sure, I might have a larger amount of that fiat, but it's a larger and weaker amount of that fiat. So it's as if nothing got done at all. That's the way I see it. That's the way I've always seen it. I've always been stacking for weight. I've never cared all that much about collecting coins or going after different series or sets with higher premiums. None of those have ever really appealed to me all that much. Sure, they might look cool. I might really appreciate the beauty, the art that the coin showcases, but if it has a high premium, generally speaking, it's not for me. So for the first two out of two and a half years of stacking silver, I was predominantly stacking Silver Eagles. And second in command for my stack were the Maple Leafs. Now I didn't strictly go after Milk Spotted Silver, but if I was gonna order a Maple Leaf, I would say probably 75% of the time I would order Culls. Now sometimes they were sold out, but Maple Leafs, even uncirculated Maple Leafs, still were a very low premium so I would order those if I couldn't get my hands on culls. So 25% of the time, I would probably go for the uncirculated ones and I have separate tubes dedicated to uncirculated. This is just one of my tubes of culls. So I hope this video can spark a little bit of a conversation. I am in no way, shape or form a financial advisor. So don't take anything that I ever say on this channel as financial advice, it's for entertainment purposes only. But I'm curious, what are your thoughts? I'm hoping that this can initiate a discussion in the comment section. What are your thoughts on Canadian silver maple leafs? Do you avoid them? I know a lot of people practically boycott the Canadian maple leaf because of milk spots. Do you have any experience paying a higher premium for a coin from a collecting set or series that showed up with milk spots? Or maybe it developed milk spots over time? How disappointing was that to you? What are your thoughts on Canadian silver maple leafs or milk spotted silver in general? Let me know in the comments. And if you guys are interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP club where I can do things on my terms, not on YouTube's terms, and I have privately held VIP only live streams, they're smaller and easier to manage. I can read more comments, I can respond to more people in real time. You can watch every single YouTube video, commercial free, no advertisements. You can get your name added to an outro shout out board. You can get a personalized discount code with year round discounts. You can get 
giveaway access. You can get heads up when different silver sales are going on on different websites and much, much more. If you want to join the Precious Metals VIP Club, I'd be happy to have you. You're invited. It'll be the first link in the description. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. Trying to hit 2,000 subscribers and we just hit 1,000. I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. And of course, the brand new Kraken Stackin' t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin from Canada. Thank God it is post 2018, so hopefully no milk spots on that. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know, once again, what are your thoughts on milk spotted silver? Do you avoid it? Do you hate milk spots so much that you refuse to stack something that has milk spots? Maybe you've gone out of your way to get your hands on silver that has milk spots because you knew that it would deduct a little bit off of the premium. Maybe you're stacking for weight similar to the way I am and you just want to get as much physical silver content in your possession as humanly possible and milk spotted Canadian maple leaves or even uncirculated Canadian maple leaves. Due to the fact that they have a lower premium, you can get more money for your currency, and maybe that was one of your strategies over the years or over the months or over the weeks or however long you've been stacking silver for. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, anything and everything related to milk-spotted silver. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow, and remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.